welcome back to another broadcast of You Are Enough. This is Nikki, and I'm so glad to come back into your home to encourage you another day. Thank all of your family for what you all do daily on our channel. Thank all of you for your prayers. Thank you for purchasing that book, and I'm so grateful. And I'm even encouraged for all of your testimonials that are coming in. Go buy that book for somebody because I believe by faith that that book is going to revolutionize your life and it's going to transform your life for the better. And I pray that everything that you touch, it will prosper. And no matter whatever you're trying to attain in life, guess what? God is going to bless that. Today, I want to talk to you about the mantle on your life. I want you to understand the mantle that is upon your life. You know, God has given you the grace to do a specific assignment. You have a garment, you have a mantle, and that mantle is very powerful, family. You are going to do great exploits, and God is going to do it in you, and God is going to do it through you. And I want you to know, too, that your words have prophetic implications. Your words have prophetic implications. Death and life are in the power of your tongue. Do you know you can be right where you are? And you can cause change in another state, in another country. This is how powerful, powerful that your words are. So if you want your situation to change, I want you to begin to have confidence in the mountains that God has already given you. Have confidence, family, in the words that you speak. And be so mindful of the words that you speak because your words are going to shift atmospheres, your words are actually going to change the trajectory of your life. So speak things that be not as if it already existed. What are you trying to change in your life? How are you trying to change these things? Are you trying to change these things with your physical hands? God made us in his likeness and he made us in his image. So you're going to have to speak things as if it already existed. You have so much governmental power and God has called you as an ambassador right here in the earth realm, family. You have the power to legislate. Did you know that? How do you have the power to legislate? Because you are an ambassador from the kingdom of God. You are an ambassador from the kingdom of heaven. So many people do not understand your governmental power. They do not know how you have what you have to legislate what you do. You are an ambassador and God gave you power to change. So go around your life and whatever you need to change, you got to speak that. You can't wait on anybody else to do this for you. You have to do it. Whatever is interfering in your life, you got the power to change it. What are you waiting on to change it? You are the change that you are seeking. Where are you seeking the changes that you are desiring? It has to come from this place on the inside. Whenever you heal here, the external world is going to change in your life. Your life is going to change for the absolute better. Your life is going to shift for the absolute better family of God. It is because you're going to understand that mental that God has upon your life. You're going to understand that you have the grace to do what some people don't do. You know some people will hate you. Some people will be so envious and jealous because what comes easy to you it's becoming difficult for somebody else to do. This is what the anointing does. This is what the grace of God does. It causes you to do things that comes easy to you. You are going to exercise your prophetic implications, family of God. So continue to govern your life. Continue to legislate your life. How are you going to do that? You're going to speak things into existence. You are a co-creator. You are a co-creator, so go and create your own life. What do you want to change, family? We talk about it all the time on our channel. You have to be that change. What is trying to hinder 
your life? What is trying to get in the way of your life? What is it, family? You got to open up your mouth and you got to command the enemy to back up. You can't be nice about it. You got to take back things that the devil stole from you. What has the kingdom of darkness taken from you, family? The word of God tells us that the heaven suffers violence and the violence has to take it by force. You don't ask for your stuff back. You got to take it back, family. Don't be afraid to take back what you have a right to have. First, you got to know what your birthright is. You must know that you have a right to be successful. You have a right to succeed. You have a right to be happy. You have a right to soar into this world. So wear that mantle, wear that mantle, wear that covering upon your life because God gave you the grace to do it. Don't say what you can't do because you can do it. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.13, who gives me the strength. You may be saying today that you don't know how to do it. You may be saying that I can't do it. You are absolutely right. You cannot do it. This is why God is going to take your natural and he's going to place his super on your natural family and you're going to get things done very quickly. Things are going to come to you quickly. Things are going to come to you effortlessly and God is going to expedite some things that you've been waiting on for a long time. You know, you got blessings that have been held up, but God had to wait family until certain things left your life. God had to wait until certain people left your life. You are an ambassador. Act like one. Talk like one. Walk like one. So hold your head up. You have nothing to hold your head down for a family of God. You are enough. Did y'all hear me? You are enough, family. No weapon that is formed against a child of God is going to prosper. It doesn't matter what people form. It's not going to prosper you, family. You are going to do what you want to do. You're going to become everything that you are setting out to do. It takes time. And everything is going to happen for you in divine timing. I want you all to stay encouraged. I want you to keep working your faith. I want you to keep believing. I want you to keep trusting. And I want you to keep praying because prayer is going to open the heavens for you. And it's going to cause God to pour down a blessing that you're not going to have room enough to receive. This next blessing that you're going to receive, this next breakthrough, your next miracle, family, it is not just for you. God is not going to bless you just for you. He gave you the mantle of prosperity. God gave you the mantle of success. God gave you the mantle of wisdom. He gave you the mantle of knowledge. And God has given you the mantle of understanding, family. But the principal thing that I want you all to pray for, that God want all of us to pray for, that is wisdom. You need wisdom. Wisdom is not the person who has a lot of intellectual knowledge. No, that's smart. That being intelligent. Wisdom is whenever we know what to do with what we have. A lot of people don't know what to do with what they have. And I pray that you will tap into that infinite wisdom that you already have down on the inside of you. Some of you are going to be the first millionaires in your family. Some of you are kingdom financiers. I want you to know who you are. You are the head. You're not the tail. You're above. You're not beneath. You are a lender. You will never again be a borrower. You are a distribution center for the kingdom of God. I want you to affirm your life every day. Every day that God give you, I want you to say, I am, and you fill in the blank. I am what? I am blessed. I'm highly favored. I am successful. I am healthy. I am wealthy. I am the preferred. I am favored of all people. And I am favored of the most high God. You know the enemy tried to stop you so many times, family. I want you to look at this as a mere indication of true success. If you didn't have anything valuable, the enemy wouldn't bother you, family. If you weren't persecuted, you wouldn't get a testimony. If you were not in a position or in a place of lack right now, you would not be grateful for the land of plenty that you're about to go and walk in. You're going to walk into that. Why? Because God has graced you with a mantle of blessing. He's graced you with an anointing for wealth. God has graced you with prosperity. He's graced you with success. 
These are prophetic implications that you're getting ready to wear. God has robed you, family. God has given you favor. With who? With what? God has gave you, given you favor with him, and God has given you favor with man. God said the king heart is in my hand, and I'm going to turn the king's heart however I choose. And he's going to turn that person's heart in your favor Whatever you're facing, God is going to turn it around in your favor. I don't care what it is. If it's a court case, God is going to turn that thing around in your favor. If it's bankruptcy, if it's debt, if it's divorce, if it's poor health, if it's an opportunity that was shut in your face, God is going to turn all of these things around in your favor. That's what grace is. Grace is the unmerited favor of God, giving us things that we don't deserve. We don't deserve the grace of God, but it's because his grace. And guess what, family? He has renewed mercy for you and I every single day. I want you to understand the mantle that you have. I want you to understand that. And I want you to wear it proudly, family. You are successful. And everything attached to you is going to win. Everybody attached to you is going to win. People saw you when you were down, and God is going to let your enemies live until they see you soar to heights and to a pinnacle that they doubted. A lot of people doubted your family because they judged you for what you look like on the outside, where you live, how you talk, how you walk, what you wore. But God said, that is not how I judge. Man judged you for what you look like. But God said, I was looking right at your heart. So keep your heart clean and keep your heart pure, family, because you don't want to block the flow of the blessing that God is getting ready to give you. God has an expedited miracle with your name on it. God has an expedited, expedited breakthrough and a blessing with your name on it. Now, when you get the blessing, I want you to share it. You have a mantle to be blessed. That means God is going to empower you to prosper. This is how you're going to get it done. This is Nikki once more. It's been a pleasure to come in your home. I want you all to like our video, share, and subscribe. Keep hitting that like button because it helps the algorithm of our channel. Don't get scam family on the channel. You all see the scammers. So I want you all to continue to delete that reply and continue to report these people. Keep your eyes focused on where you're going. Forget everybody that didn't support you. Forget everybody that dropped you. Forget everybody that, that didn't believe in you. Forget everybody that forsook you. God allowed them to forsook, to forsake you. God allowed all these things to happen. Not any of these things that you've endured or that you're going through with has caught God by, the, by surprise. Guess what? God allowed it because God knew something that the enemy didn't know. God hid you. He kept you a secret. Now he's going to pull back the curtain of your life to show people what treasure that was hidden for so long, and that treasure is you. Wear the mantle that God has given you because it's all that you need to succeed. We'll talk later. God bless all of you. Bye-bye.